Okay, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our kitchen. I'm going to turn over um, what I had one viewer that, that said that she was a fan of Cosmopolitans, and I'm going to have my husband make a Cosmopolitan. Now, I'll be honest, this isn't a favorite with either of ours. It wouldn't be our first choice of drinks, but my husband's going to explain what's in a Cosmopolitan for you. Okay. Cosmopolitan is basically a martini. Uh, it's in the martini line of drinks. Uh, one of the things that we need to do whenever we do this with a martini is chill our glass. And you, those of you that were here the other day when we did the candy cane and the chocolate martini, you saw this, but basically I'm going to ask Joel to make sure that's got water in it and sit it over there until I'm ready. The other thing is you put ice into a shaker. All right? That is what uh, allows it to be cold. If we can get the ice out half the time. Now I've always, okay, I have a question for you. I've always wondered, why do you put ice and water in the martini glass? Wouldn't just the ice suffice? No, because it chills it faster. Oh, okay. It chills the water, it, the water chills it faster. That's good to know. Okay, now, this basically has, and did you get the line? No, you didn't. Oh, no, well, no, that's in the refrigerator. Okay. Might be in the door. I got it right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, basically, there are, are, are three ingredients. Well, four ingredients, actually. Um, the vodka, number <laughs> one. And there are two shots of vodka. Now, I'm going to go back to my bartending days. Okay? Which means I'm going to get drunk tonight. This one doesn't work too well. Oh, it's coming out. Yeah. There we go. All right. There are uh, two shots of, uh, two ounces of vodka. All right. Then there's cranberry juice. And this is really an unusual recipe because I'll be honest with you. Uh, there's not a lot of, of uh, things in it. It only takes one half ounce and a spilled uh, cranberry juice, all right, to use. All right. Now, the next thing is something that is around the house. I don't know why we even have it around the house, because I, we don't really drink it. It's Cointreau. Now, Cointreau is somewhat of a liqueur, all right? Now, this bottle I have here is about $40, all right? 750 milliliters is about $40. So it's an expensive liqueur. It's very expensive. Now, Cointreau... Uh, whoa, excuse me, I just dropped something. There are other things I looked up to see what Quantra was used in. And in a minute, if I can open this, there we go. You use a quarter of an ounce, which is a half of a half ounce, right? Yeah, half of a half yeah, ounce. Yeah, that would be. So you take your, 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 one, uh, your half ounce jigger and you put one quarter in there, just like you did uh, a little bit more than the, uh, a little bit less, I'm sorry, than the cranberry juice. It, it's a very sweet liqueur as well. And then it asks for lime syrup. We don't have lime syrup, but I, I also looked it up in lime syrup. Uh, you can uh, substitute a sweet lime juice. And that's another quarter of an ounce. Okay. Now, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to shake it and go. Now, I looked up a few other things that use Cointreau. Uh, an original margarita says uses Cointreau. And this is not for the still <laughs> Okay. And also something that's called a sidecar. Now a sidecar is Cointreau and Cognac. It's, it's a rather expensive drink when you think about it. So that's what a sidecar is. Yeah. I'm not sure this is going to fill. Yeah, dummy me didn't, dummy me didn't should have used the. That, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to bring you guys in so you guys can see what the Cosmo looks Cosmo like. Cosmo will have a little tint to it. The and tint obviously is the combination of the Cointreau and the lime juice. And uh, it's got a little pink lady um, taste to it. 
Now, I want to taste it too because I've never had a Cosmo. Actually, that's not bad. It, it still would not be my first choice, but. No, it's not bad. No, no. not bad. Every, every Cosmo I've ever had has been really heavy, either on the vodka or the lime. Now, one of, one of the things when you, um, I don't think this is a very good lid for this. So I've got to find out my other ones. Oh, all because right. Because that, it should have been a full drink there by what I did. No, that happens. Um, there are a lot of different things that people, I don't know if, that, that people do at home. The basic things, your seven and sevens, your martinis, uh, a lot of the things are rather easy to do. Um, I never used the shot glass when I was doing it at the bar, but um, it's been 20 years. So it's it's been a while. And uh, so well, if there's anything drink. else you want, I've got an entire book of a weird, weird, uh, within reason, drinks. within reason, I'm not, I'm not going like, out for a $40 bottle of, of anything like this, or I have the cognac, so I could probably do the sidecar. Well, actually, when we did the, uh, Godiva martini, Godiva retails for, a Godiva is expensive yeah, too. Godiva, Godiva is, expensive. is about 40, if I yeah. think it might even be a little bit worse. No, no, no. The last time I bought the white Godiva, it wasn't. So, oh, okay. So. But I like to keep the Godiva because I'm a chocoholic. Oh no, I know what. what I'm was, a chocoholic. Yeah, I know what was expensive is is the um, um, the the thing in the round, um, the ranch. The Chambord. Where, yeah, Chambord. that one is Chambord. a very expensive. Chambord is also very expensive, yeah. but it's good. It's yeah. a nice liqueur. It really yeah, is. we'll get into the li liqueurs later on. Um, I don't know. This is so small, but I fuck. I don't know if I want to go to a. Uh, if I want to mix vodka with um, Southern Comfort. Why? What do you want? I'm thinking, let's do it old fashioned. I am thinking, oh, but then I'd have to find room for seven up. Well, we have our, 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 our thing in there. We could do an old fashioned, but uh, I'm not, I, you're going to make me drink one. Yeah, of course I'm going to make uh, you drink one. I'm not an old fashioned drinker. Okay, I am an old-fashioned drinker. Southern Comfort, uh, Southern Comfort Old Fashioned is something I enjoy Oof. very much. So, yeah, it's very, it's, it's and very tart. That, and I'll tell you why it's tart because it has had the lemon juice that would, didn't have the vodka in it to to absorb it, and that's what happened. That's what happens. Yeah, um, okay. I mean, would I drink a Cosmopolitan? Maybe very occasionally or rarely. I, I would be more a vodka martini drinker or the candy cane at this time, <laughs> holiday thing. But you know what? It is the holidays. Let's let's spice it up. And I'm going to pause the video for a second. We'll be right back. We're going to get set up. We're going to do a Southern Comfort Old Fashioned. Or, Man, for or Manhattan. Which you or Manhattan. You might make yourself a Manhattan and Old Fashioned for me. This particular recipe requires southern comfort. You cannot substitute. Well, my husband will tell you when we when we get back. So we're, I'm going to pause it for a second. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. It took a little while because we had to find all of the ingredients for a southern comfort old-fashioned. So, if you want to take take it over... Okay. All right. I guess so. I will. Now I, I had to look this up again because it's been a while since I've made an old fashioned. Um, but basically, if you take a look at, we've got rocks glasses. And I'll bring right? you guys in closer so you guys can see this. We have rocks glasses, which are the smaller glasses. Okay. Uh, and already I have in, in each of the glass, I've got a piece of orange and one of them I have a cherry because he's allergic to cherries. So we won't use that. Okay. Also, uh, this is going to be, I've got to now walk over and dump all of it. See, I oh, told there's you. there's two. All right, there's two. I could have used three, I guess. No, I'm diabetic. I shouldn't have any of it, to be honest. I'm going to bring you guys, okay. Okay. 
There we go. We put in two sugar cubes in each of the glasses as well. All right. And then we're going to use bitters. Now there's regular bitters and there's orange bitters. Uh, we're going to use the orange because orange is, is, is a part of the recipe. And you're going to just do a couple of dashes, all right, in the glass. One, two, 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 there we go. All right, one, two, all right. It looks like I did four, I know, but it, it, I didn't, all right. And he really, he really didn't. I'm going to show you guys up uh, ahead that there's, you can see there's really not much in there. Okay, what? Okay, what's your next then, ingredient? Then, there is a dash of soda. Not much at all, a dash of soda. Now comes the fun part. You've got to muddle these together. All right, this is a muddler. Okay, all right. And basically, you're muddling, and you're, you're actually crushing. What you're doing is you're crushing everything together, which is the... Um, Sugar, the orange, okay, and the bitters are, are being mixed in there at the same time. All right, now this one's, I did it this way because I didn't want the cherry on here, all right, when he, when he got it. And you're going to do the same thing with your other glass, okay. Uh, yeah. mm, there we go, okay, all right. Now, once you've muddled the ingredients, those, we're going to fill, oh, there it is, with one and a half ounces, in other words, a shot and a half, and I'm going to use the shot glass this time, I didn't use it the last time I, we did that, the other recipe, okay? You're going to put a shot and a half of, eat, of Southern Comfort. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Southern Comfort. During the holidays, we've made what's called, is the Southern Comfort Punch. And uh, my kids loved it. They, they just loved it. So every Christmas, I get Southern Comfort for Christmas. Every Christmas, I get Southern Comfort for Christmas. Please don't give us any more Southern Comfort. I, um, I have probably have nine bottles of Southern Comfort sitting in our, in our area. Okay. And I probably so, have the equal amount of little ones. Back up. Okay. All right, so that's one and a half ounces of, and this is Southern Com this is the Southern Comfort of Manhattan. You can use any kind of a bourbon or whiskey, all right? It's not necessarily that you have to use Southern Comfort. It just happens that we like Southern Comfort. Now, you notice the difference between the two glasses, obviously. All and right? We have... Down on all. Okay. I'm going to lean, lean you over. Okay. One has the cherry, would be the one on the right. And the one on the left is mine. Okay. Now, I'm going to put ice in them now. All right? And do you want to put crushed ice or regular ice? I, I use regular ice. I, okay. don't, I don't use crushed ice too much. Okay. One. Oh, there it is. I knew I had another glass. And I will be having my husband, once we get to the Christmas holiday yeah. season, make the punch. Can I finish? Yes, you can finish. Okay. Now, it looks like there's not much of a drink to it, doesn't it? All right. Basically, what you can do for an old-fashioned, and a, a, a typical old-fashioned would use soda, okay, club soda. But we use 7-Up. Now, I, I guess you could say that we're, we like the sweet. All right, I think we both uh, like sweet, the sweet part of it, okay? You didn't use the vermouth, did you? No, there is no vermouth in it. Oh, okay. You, remember, well, no, you wanted, remember we, I... Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Now, the reason that she, he said vermouth was very simply for the fact that we didn't know if we were going to do an old-fashioned or a... Um, Manhattan. Manhattan. So, the Manhattan would normally use vermouth, but we didn't need it. So, I'm going to let him try this before I do. A little twist of, of, little twist on it, okay? All right, okay. So, let's Cheers. try it. Wow. 
I would say it's very good. I would say it's very good too. I'm not. Uh, I don't. We don't drink. I don't. We don't drink a lot in the house. But surprisingly, with all surprisingly, the alcohol, surprisingly, with what we're doing, we, we're, you know, we really don't drink enough uh, much in the house at all. As a matter of fact, I would say that we have. Uh, if if we do anything at, at home, it's it's um, holidays, holidays, or yeah, or mostly. anniversary birthdays, yeah. maybe, yeah. or once in a blue moon, if I cook like a, a nicer dinner, we might have a glass of wine with dinner or something. But yeah, we don't really drink. No, we really don't. And uh, I wish I had swizzle sticks here, because you know I'm sorry. This is <laughs> it's, I've got my I, own swizzle stick, so yeah. to speak. Okay. Uh, so, happy holidays, happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Tune in next time for another beverage with Bob and Joel. Oh my God, you got a name for it now. Yep, I do. <laughs> <laughs>